Hi, I'm Michelle McCaskill, and welcome to this edition of the AMC News Dispatch. While the future is always uncertain, we must start planning today for what our soldiers will need on the battlefield 20 years from now. Engineers and scientists from the Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center are doing just that, with a new initiative called Future Soldier 2030. Dutch DeGay, team leader for strategic outreach, recently discussed this exciting initiative. We're constantly looking to see what the soldiers are dealing with in Iraq and Afghanistan right now. And because we're a science and technology facility, we want to be able to project in the future what potential capabilities the soldier would like to have or what needs the soldier may have. So the Future Soldier 2030 initiative, as opposed to being a program of record, is that we're looking at science and technology across all of RDECOM and AMC and then trying to come up with a concept car-like idea of this is what the potential soldier may look like, how do we integrate technologies that are currently going on in the labs or being researched in the laboratories now, and what that could potentially look like for the 2030 time frame. We start inside Natick, and we find out all the work that's being done that could potentially be inserted onto the soldier, and then we go outside to the Picatinny's, for example, um, CERDEC at Fort Monmouth to see what kind of communications, battery technology is being looked at, and then we constantly are involving soldiers to give us lessons learned and AERs from Iraq and Afghanistan. So understanding that we understand the fact that no matter what type of technology we come up with, it's only as good as the soldier who wants to use it. So we try to involve them in that decision cycle. We kind of look at the helmet as being a potential command and control center. So a visor, but once you lift the visor up, um, we're looking at new technologies like stereoscopic cameras that could project an image on the interior of the helmet. So a soldier wouldn't have to look at a display. The body armor itself, um, you'll notice that there's kind of two layers. One is for torso and one is for legs. One thing that we're looking at is an exoskeleton. We currently are managing that program right now. So if I have an exoskeleton on the body, and right now this is represented by waist down, this can carry more of traditional ceramic body armor as we move to make the soldier kind of more vehicle centric. Maybe I can look at boron carbide or ceramic body armor for the entire body so we get something that's truly protective head to toe as opposed to just thoracic cavity joint that kind of stuff. This is a concept car. The goal is not to build this and field this by 2030. The goal is to have a starting point and then have all the RDE com, or excuse me, all the RDE com laboratories come in and say, you know what? The helmet's not going to look like that because we're using X technology. It should be reflective of this technology so that we use this as what the potential soldier of 2030 could look like. The Future Soldier 2030 initiative will be developed in collaboration with RDECOM's other research development and engineering centers, the Training and Doctrine Command, and PEO Soldier. The goal is to identify potential capabilities that may be required by soldiers in the future by applying logic and imagination to real-life situations. Well, that's all for this edition of the AMC News Dispatch. Don't forget to visit the AMC website and click on the News and Information link for the latest items of interest about the command. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.